Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Open the downloaded folder, go to start folder. I have already opened the sample project and the Dynamo file which is initially empty. The goal for this script is to place electrical fixtures on a wall close to these desk families. I'm going to use a ray bounce technique. Let me show you briefly the idea. We can get location of these desk families. We're going to trace array from this location in this direction. This direction is desk draws direction. So the method will return a point on a wall where we will locate the electrical fixture. If we inspect this family inside Revit family editor, we can see these drawers are pointing in negative y direction. The local coordinate system, this is y axis and this is x axis. Uh, the drawers are pointing in this direction which is negative y. So, using Revit API, we can extract this vector for each test and this is what we are going to do. So, let's jump to Dynamo. Look for select model elements. Select all these elements. Get location. Now look for ray bounds. Make sure you have installed data shapes package. Ray bounds on link category. Connect here. So now the next input is direction. Just look for Python script. You can find this Python code inside start folder, Python code. Open this file, draws direction, dot by. Copy all code, control C. Go back to Dynamo, double click on Python script and paste here the code. Save it. As you can see for each element we are looking for y-axis negative y-axis. Okay. Save it. Close it. We can rename this. Draws direction. Now again, we are going to use Revit API to create a 3D view. Python script. Again, go back to the folder. Open create 3D view dot py. Copy all code. Double click. Paste inside. Save it. Here, what we are creating a 3D view. Dynamo Raybones Analysis. So, 
So we are we are going to look only for Revit walls category by name. Bounds on link category false. In my case, I am not working with links, so this input is going to be false. Make sure this node lacing is set to longest. Hit run. Let's use flatten node. So we have successfully find a point for each desk family. Look for family. Now we are going to place the electrical fixture. Look for family instance. by point and level look for family types I have already loaded a family called RJ45 like this one connect here and look for element level Make sure you have installed Clockwork Package 2.0 version. Connect here. After I run this Dynamo script, there should be uh, appear an electrical fixture. Hit run. As you can see, the Dynamo has placed the electrical fixture. Now what we are going to do is rotate this family. So go back to Dynamo. Look for that rotation. Connect here. Now we need to find how much we need to rotate this family. So again we can use draws direction to find the value look for angle with vector about angle about axis look for y axis Again, rotation axis is equal to z-axis. Connect here. Hit run. As you can see, the family is rotated correctly and is pointing in the right direction. Now, let's fix the offset. So we can use set parameter, set parameter by name, connect here. I want to move this family 30 centimeters, so 0 0.3 meters. Let again hit run. Yeah, fine. So as you can see, we have successfully built a script to place automatically electrical fixtures.